As the retain five includes four modules for cantilever retaining walls, counter four retaining walls, basement retaining walls, and a new module for a sheet piling retaining wall. But how do you actually use this new module in ASDIP Retain 5? How do you enter the information? How do you check the result? How do you optimize the design of a sheet piling? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to focus our attention on the user interface in this new module in ASDIP Retain 5. Let's get started. I have created a calculation of a sheet piling. Let's double click. And this is a template for a sheet piling design in ASDIP Retain. It has two panes. The left pane is dedicated to the input. The right pane is dedicated to the output. In the geometry tab, you enter the sizes, dimensions, and all geometric information. At the top of the page, select the sheet piling uh, type, either cantilever or anchor. The program will automatically update the graphical interface to reflect the selection. The required information is the excavation depth, the water table depth, and the soil uh, slope angle. For anchor sheet piling walls, the anchor depth is also required. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results in just one screen with the most relevant information organized by topic. This is useful for a quick identification of any problem in the design. Let's go to the materials tab. In the soil layers tab, you specify the material properties of up to four layers of soil. The required properties are the layer height or thickness, uh, the density, moist density and saturated density, the friction angle phi, and the cohesion C. If we click on the wall tab, here you specify uh, the properties for the sheet piling itself, such as the yield strength Fy and the modulus of elasticity E. If we go to the condensed tab, here we can see a more detailed set of calculations organized by topic. This is useful when more information is required. The program shows the lateral coefficients, the maximum pressures, and the controlling shear and moments and uh, deflections. Also, the calculation of the required section modules. In the Loads tab, select the Soil tab to specify uh, the lateral pressure theory either Coulomb active, ranking active, or at rest. The passive pressure is calculated by default per the Coulomb theory. If we select the source charge tab, here you can enter the dead and live uniform source charge. The software lets you specify a minimum construction source charge as part of the design criteria. You click on this icon here in the design. It's a minimum construction source charge. Typically, the minimum uh, load is about 200 PSF. If we click on the detail tab at the right, this is a step-by-step -step calculations with exposed formulas and code references. It includes the detailed calculation of the design pressures and coefficients. This is useful for a granular check of the sheet piling design and uh, for submittals to the approval agencies. If we click on the graph tab, in the pressures tab, at the top of the page are the independent diagrams of the active and passive uh, pressures of the soil, the soil charge pressure, and also the water table effect at both sides of the wall. At the bottom of the page is the loading diagram, which uh, shows a uh, combined pressure of all the diagrams uh, shown above. The software calculates the required embedment depth and uh, also shows the magnitude of the anchor tension force. To calculate the embedment depth, uh, the program makes moments about this point at uh, the location of the anchor uh, force. And uh, when the moment of all the forces are zero, then uh, that's the minimum embedment depth. So this is a trial and error process that the program performs internally. If we click on the diagrams tab, this tab shows the shear and moment diagrams. The information is very important in order to calculate the required structural strength of the sheet piling section. In addition, the software shows uh, the deflected shape of the wall. This is useful to select the stiffness properties of the sheet piling and control the maximum deflection. Let's go back to the geometry tab. Let's select now a cantilever sheet piling retaining wall. 
So let's uh, change this to 15 feet instead of 25. If we go to the graph tab, to the pressures tab, now the program shows a cantilever sheet piling wall with the active and passive pressures and the water table effects and also the source charge lateral pressure. The loading diagram shows the active pressure at the top. So when we apply a pressure at the top of the wall, the system reacts with a passive pressure at the front of the wall. This is passive. This point is the pivot. So the wall tries to rotate around this point and generates passive pressure on the back of the wall. To calculate the embedment depth, you take moments about the tip of the wall. When the moment becomes zero, that's the required embedment depth. We go to the diagram tab. The program also shows the cantilever uh, sheet piling wall. This is the shear diagram and the moment diagram and, and the deflected shape. As you can see, it's very easy to model and calculate sheet piling retaining walls in as deep retain. Now you can calculate either cantilever or anchored uh, sheet piling retaining walls. If you are interested in the software, please download the free 15 day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.